What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Gold Mop. I am coming to y'all today to show you guys my pantry and how I'm going to organize it. I hope. Well, I'm just trying to get started. So, um, I, I already started taking out some things, but I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and record this because <laughs> this is video worthy. So, um, let me show you guys my pantry. This is my pantry. And it looks a mess at this present moment, a whole hot mess. What your pantry look like, okay? So, um, this is, I'm talking about, I got from washing stuff to fixing stuff, nails, food, uh, all kinds of stuff in there, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and, let me sit this camera down so I can go ahead and start taking stuff out of this pantry. So, you guys can see. The only thing, <laughs> the best way to clean the pantry, take everything out. I gotta clean it all out. If I don't take it all out, then I won't know what I got to look forward to. So, and as you can see, my pantries are real, real deep, like way up there. I can't even reach some of the stuff. So, I'm gonna take it all out and see if I can reorganize it and get it done or whatever. what I'm going to start up with, okay? I'll be back to y'all when I'm done taking all of this stuff out. Okay, y'all, so I just want to bring you guys closer and show you that on my, in my pantry, for some reason, whoever built this back in 1922 made it in, each shelf is two pieces of wood, so I'm just going to pull one piece of the wood out, and I don't know, I no longer want this pantry to be deep where I can't even reach nothing or I have to jump up there and step in the step stool and all of that stuff um to get my stuff so I'm just gonna break it down and then I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like after that Okay, y'all, so this is what the pantry looks like. I think it has been stripped down. And I started doing some white paint. Y'all can see how dirty and nasty it is back there. I got to paint those walls. I tore the boards off of this side of the wall because I said I was going to um, redo them and uh, put shorter ones there. But on this side of the wall, I'm not finna go through all of that. I'm just gonna leave those boards just like it is and just paint them because they actually come out longer than the actual shelf because I uh, made the shelf, I cut it in half. So, but y'all look at all the junk that was in my pantry. Y'all, this, I already threw most of it away. And this over here, all of this was in my pantry, y'all, cause this was clean. Except I got some the new baskets, the white baskets, I got some of them and all this stuff over here was in my pantry. Um, then I got stuff over here that's in the pantry, <laughs> that was in the pantry. Dirty dishes. Um, 
and I got some stuff over here. Everything that was in the pantry, y'all. So, my next step is to paint it. Ooh, cha. I'm tired, y'all. And this is the next day, y'all. Just to show you guys, um, these are the the shelves that came in the pantry, and those are two baskets that I got from the yard sale site. So I'm outside painting those shelves and those two baskets. I'm not gonna paint the inside. I'm just gonna paint the outside white. Ooh, y'all, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm just coming to show y'all the panels or the, the shelves. I painted them white on the back, and on this side I put the contact paper on them. I uh, got the contact paper from Walmart, and I'm going to level my shelves with this level I got from the Dollar Tree and put the shelves back up in there. <sighs> okay, guys, as you can see, <laughs> I my video was too long to, um, to continue because it would have been like freaking 30 minutes if I would have kept editing and stuff so I decided to make this pantry video into a two-part video so be sure to stay tuned to my channel so you can see the finished results of my pantry and me put my pantry together you guys um this was this process of me cleaning up my pantry took me the whole day uh, from the morning to the night it took me a little while what I did was when with the um the stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree I didn't go to the Dollar Tree and just go went on a shopping spree for pantry products what I did was um I at different random times you know five dollars here three dollars here two dollars there like for real that's how I ended up getting the products for my pantry so it was like a planning thing because I don't have money like that so I plan things in advance for like my my task and all the little things that I have to do around my house my lens was dirty that I noticed in my video so I'm gonna see if I can clean it but yeah for my task like when I be trying to do DIYs and stuff around my house, I um I plan my stuff accordingly. So um, y'all, I got lights flashing. I know it's like <laughs> I got some lights I need to review. We're gonna talk about that in a future video, but they actually blink according to my voice, as you can see. <laughs> so um yeah, uh, should I turn this light on? No, I ain't gonna turn the light on. But anyways, um. Uh, yeah, I plan stuff accordingly to like, like when I'm going to do a project, if I'm, I feel like it's going to cost me $30, $40, $50, I'm, I'm going to plan months in, a, months in advance and I'm going to just store stuff. Like what I did for my um, pantry, what I did was, you know, I, I was gathering stuff. I had ideas in my head, okay, this how many bins I think I might want to use. And I go, whenever I go to the Dollar Tree on a random visit, I would get a couple of storage bins you know on that trip then maybe a couple of weeks from then get another couple of storage bins for that for the you know for the next trip and i just all shove them all in the corner that's what i do i just shove them all in the corner until i think i'm ready and i got enough stuff because i needed paint and i also needed um some pieces of wood um cut so i went to lowe's on a random and just got a piece of a long strip of wood that i already had and I got that cut down to my individual small sizes when I cut the, um, when I tore the shelf down off of that one side. So I ended up doing that. I just went to Lowe's on a, on a spare trip. Lowe's ain't right down the street from my house. So it was like one day I was, I had to go out that way for a reason. So I'm like, since Lowe's is way out there by where I need to go, I'm going to just go ahead and take my, my board with me and see if I can have somebody cut it for me until like, I think I got like eight cuts out of that one long board that I had from a scrap project. I really wish I can cut wood, y'all, but I can't. Well, I probably could if I had a saw, but you know a saw costs a thousand million hundred dollars. So, I can't cut saw right now. Um, I can't cut wood right now, so I just take it to Lowe's and they're always nice and they cut it for free. So, and I, I bought it from them a while back, so it was a free cut, but, uh, you know, I did buy the wood and, and uh, for a previous project, but still, I'm just letting you guys know how I go about getting um, my supplies because it's not like, oh, I just went out in one day and just, oh, she fixed the pantry. Uh -uh. Behind the scenes, it takes me a while to build up um, my, um, I would say product to build up my thing. 
for my project because it sometimes it can be very expensive so I, I take my time knowing that um, I have a project ahead so I just spend a little bit here and a little bit there like last year y'all know Nivea and Coco was here so during that time I had a lot of redecorating on my mind so during that time I was going a little bit here and getting a little stuff a little bit there getting a little stuff like when I did my tile in my kitchen I just did a little bit here and bought a little bit there I bought one pack of tile one month and then when I scraped up some money and got some more uh, enough money to get another box then I got another box a towel just like that it took me about six months to get all that towel for my kitchen but i mean if you got it like that feel free go ahead you know but um i don't so i have to do things according in 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 according to you know when i plan i'm gonna have to plan stuff first before i do it yeah you know what i'm trying to say but anyways y'all stay tuned to part two which will be the next video that i post i'm not sure if that's gonna be tomorrow or the next day yeah I, i'm just <laughs> let me unplug like these lights y'all that's going to be tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned to my video. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's all I got to say in this video. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Bye.